guys, what's up? I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor at italki.com. Italki is a website where language learners can connect with real live native speaker teachers of the language that they're trying to learn. We actually have a really great buy one lesson, get one lesson free promo going on, so check the description box down below. It's super affordable and you can learn a new language from the comfort of your own home. Now, let's get on to the video. Okay, you guys, so we are back from Ikea. That was the absolute worst. I'm never going to Ikea again in Korea. Like, I love Ikea, but it's just not worth it. It's really, really, really far away. <laughs> it took us like an hour and a half or something like that to get there, like two hours to get back. Um, so it's far, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so you have to take a subway and then you have to take the bus, like one of those little tiny, um, I don't know, it's like city buses, not like the regular buses, they're like super small. So then you have to take a bus, and then it's like, it's so crowded. There were so many people. Like I've been in crowded, like Ikea's in the States when they're crowded, and this was like a million times worse. Like it was so, so crowded. Like I, I couldn't even believe how crowded it was. And they didn't have the air conditioning on. So it, like we got, walked in the door and I was already miserable. Like it was so hot in there. Like. I mean, I know it's winter, so I know that they probably had the heat on to keep everybody toasty, but when there's that many people in there, you just like can't have the heat on. Cause it was like funky and it was hot and like it was so hot and so crowded that you couldn't really look at the displays that they had. Like I actually really wanted to look at furniture for our apartment, but I was so hot and, t and just like tired from the commute. And there were so many people like in the way and like unlike in the States, like occasionally you'll see someone sitting on a sofa, but for the most part, people like sit, try it out, stand. Up, but there were people sitting on all the furniture so you couldn't even really look at it because there were so many people so we ended up not really walking out with anything we got a few storage bins the clothes rack that I wanted to buy they were completely sold out of it even though it said they had it when I checked online before we went um, and the line to check out just to get the little stuff that we had was like I think there were like 25 people ahead of us and like every line there were like 30 people or more in every line like it was absolutely insane um, and then coming back, like I said, it took us like two hours. It's just, it's too much. And now like, you know, I think Koreans are really, really good at like perfecting other countries like good ideas or other people's good ideas. Like I think they're really good at that. So now that Ikea is here, you've got all the Korean furniture like companies really stepping up their game. And now they've got this really like cool, sleek, sort of like European feel to their furniture, which I really, really like. So I think I'm just gonna end up buying all my furniture online because like I said, you have to take a subway and then the bus and we don't have a car. So getting that stuff back would be just a pain, an absolute pain like if we bought furniture there. And then like, you know, if we didn't, if we had to have it delivered, like it would be super expensive. So I don't really see the point in shopping there. I might go back if I need like a rug or like one or two things. Definitely go by myself. Jay can't handle all those people. Um, 
but I just don't see myself really going to Ikea often. I was so excited Ikea came to Korea, but it's just like not the same. It's just horrible. It's like Ikea if Ikea were like the worst place in the world. Like I just absolutely hated it. I'm not, probably not gonna go back there. So if you've been there, if you've, uh, you know, you live in Seoul and you've been to Ikea, tell me in the comments what you think about it. <laughs> Is it worth it? I think like ordering on G Market or like ordering on auction or something like that, or the new one I found, which is like Tmon, it's like Ticket Monster, or it's like Ticket something like that. Tmon.co.kr, like those places, you can find pretty good stuff and it's like way cheaper and they deliver, and I don't know. I'm kind of over Ikea, at least in Korea. I, I did like it while I was in the States. I'm over it here, I'm over it, I'm over it. I'm never going back. Okay, well that's it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe, all that. I'll see you guys later. Bye!